strong, like, you know what the consequences are, you dead or you in jail. My detectives are working day in and day out on this case. They're developing some good leads. We're working closely with Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. We're working with our statewide prosecutor, our federal partners, the ATF and the FBI. The man is coming out and saying that, listen, these two, everything that happened that night when Fulio got killed, he is saying that those was two gangs from Jacksonville. How do they know this? Following the aftermath of Julio Fulio's gruesome murder, authorities arrested Isaiah, Chance, Alicia Andrews, Shug Gathright, Rashad Murphy, and Dab and Murphy in connection to the murder. Their arrest is not a shock to me. Remember you in the street, you like you know of the consequence, you dead or you in jail for Julio Fulio. The consequence was death. But for his killers who are documented members of the ATK and 1200, their screams can be heard from behind bars. Court documents show that Isaiah Chance told the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office detective that one once he gets off the monitor, he would flee the state and never wants to be seen again. That is just a glimpse of what Fulio's killers are facing behind bars terror. In this video, I captured the petrifying moments detailing what's really happening to Fulio's killer since they got locked up behind bars. If you are not fate hearted then, this video is for you screams behind bars following the fatal death of Jacksonville's rapper Julio Fulio on the 23rd of June 2024. Investigators have made a breakthrough in the investigation as five suspects have been charged for their alleged roles in the murder of the drill rapper information reached me that the police have sufficient evidence to keep these suspects behind bars forever authorities have charged Isaiah Chance Alicia Andrews Shan Gry Rashad Murphy and David Murphy in connection to Julio Fulio's murder what I must tell you however is that the squad comprised members of the ATK Aces top killers and 1200 a longtime affiliate of the Axe very early in the arrest one of the suspects in the murder of Julio Fulio Isaiah Chance appeared in court and pleaded not guilty to the charges labeled against him. However, the state prosecutor has filed a document requesting that Isaiah Chance remains in jail without bond because there is sufficient evidence pinning him to the murder of Charles Jones, a.k.a. Julio Fulio court documents show that Isaiah Chance told a Jacksonville Sheriff's Office detective that once he gets off the monitor, he would flee the state and never wants to be seen again. Isaiah Chance was wearing a tracking monitor and has been under investigation for an unrelated offense. I hear a lot of people are surprised that the police are moving fast on the investigation of the murder of Julio Fulio. Well, I'm not surprised considering the statement made by the authorities very early in the investigation. I knew that it was just a matter of time for the perpetrator of this vicious act to face the wrath of the law. My detectives are working day in and day out on this case. They're developing some good leads. We're working closely with Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. We're working with our statewide prosecutor, our federal partners, the ATF and the FBI. The whole state's security and intelligence are working towards arresting the murderers of Julio Folio. This is no more about Fulio without a doubt about ending the long crime history in Jacksonville, Florida. The neighborhood of Jacksonville, Florida has suffered tremendous gun violence and gruesome gang activities for a long time now. I think the police are like it is time to end this crime for good. It's no wonder authorities made a solemn promise to the public the morning after Fulio was gruesomely killed in Tampa, Florida. And I can guarantee you that we're going to be following up and making arrest in that case. Now this is serious because the police seem to be very optimistic about making arrest in this case. But then how did they intend to go about it? Where would they be looking and what are the leads? How did they come about the arrest? We're looking at the social media. We're working with with our Jacksonville partners getting intelligence on that. Hold up. Did you hear that? So when the police looked into social media, what did they find? And again, part of our investigation. But the indications are that the groups all came from Jacksonville. Oh well, it seemed the police already had everything under control. While very early in the investigation, they just didn't want to spill the beans at the time. I mean, they wanted to follow the due procedure for the sake of it because that man sounded convinced about the suspect. He already predicted that the killers and the deceased belonged to a gang group from Jacksonville. Now, if you have been following this, Jay, you would need no magician to tell you who the prime suspects of this murder are from the onset of the investigation. Investigators believed that Julio Fulio was the target of a well-calculated and thought-out plan in a surveillance video obtained from one one of the suspect's home cameras investigators claim Isaiah Chance, 21, and his girlfriend, Alicia Andrews, also 21, and his killer squad tracked and followed Julio Fulio from Jacksonville to Tampa in a silver Chevy Cruze. More details show that the duo followed the rapper to two different locations on the nights of his. Birthday celebration on June 22nd surveillance video shows Isaiah Chance at both locations having a phone call conversation. It was later revealed that Chance was communicating with Alicia Andrews' phone.
phone, and he was communicating with Sean Jad 18, who was in a second suspect vehicle, a black Chevy Impala. According to police reports, the other passengers in the black Chevy Impala were the two brothers Rashad Murphy and David Murphy. The breakthrough in this case was heralded by the discovery of surveillance video from the holiday in Tampa that shows the moment when Fulio arrived at the hotel parking lot and the suspect attacked him with rifles when the search warrant for the suspect's phones, including Rashad Murphy's girlfriend's phone, which Rashad uses, was granted investigators uncovered more shocking evidence tying the suspect to the gruesome murder. According to investigators, Rashad Murphy left his girlfriend's phone in Jacksonville and most likely traveled to Tampa. Without his own phone, further investigation into the geolocation cell site of Rashad Murphy's phone shows that Rashad Murphy made a stop at a Walmart in Jacksonville the night before the holiday murder in Tampa investigators identified Rashad Murphy in surveillance footage obtained from the Walmart. In this video, he was seen wearing the same clothing consistent with Shooter 1 who fired the Glock switch pistol in the surveillance video from Holiday. In the night of the murder, he was wearing a dark black hoodie long dark black jeans with a rip on the left knee and black military style boot investigators also revealed that Rash Murphy is left-handed, which is consistent with Shooter 1 who used his left hand in the shooting surveillance video. Interestingly, these dudes are planning a murder, but they have time to stop and eat. No tension, no pressure. Police reported that DV and Murphy foam was in the vicinity of the McDonald's on Fletcher Street. At the same time, he was seen on surveillance video driving the cruise. There, the post-homicide investigation revealed that Gate drove the Impala to conceal it in a family member's house in Polk County while David Murphy drove the suspect black crew back to Jacksonville alongside the other three defendants, Rashad Murphy, Isaiah Chance, and a Alicia Andrews, how in the hell does it end up with two sh I'm talking about two spent casings police investigation following the murder revealed that no spent rifle casings were recovered from the murder scene, which only means one thing firearms used in the crime were equipped with brass catchers, which are designed to collect spent casings after the firearm is used. However, 319 moon spent shell casings were recovered from the scene. The most interesting thing is that on June 26, JSO officers conducted a traffic stop on Gathright and located a Glock M semi-automatic pistol in the center console of his car. A further search of the vehicle uncovered 223 rifle, live rounds, and nine spent casings in Sayan Gath's possession. Although the pistol did not match the spent casings collected from the scene of Julio Fulio's murder, police reports say the rifle casings found inside Gat's vehicle were a presumptive match to two prior shootings of May homicide and a shooting on October 7, 2023, which was an attempt on Fulio's life, leaving him with a bullet in the foot. The evidence discovered from the traffic stop on Gathright prompted the police to search his house, where more evidence linking him to the murder was discovered in this search. Through Gat's residence, investigators discovered a gun safe with multiple rifles, including at least one equipped with a brass catcher consistent with the one used for Julio Fulio's murder investigators also revealed that spent nine shell casings were also found in the safe which was a presumptive match to the casings found at the scene of Jones's murder. I told you the police were all in in this case. They are determined to send these dudes for a lifetime behind bars. Interestingly, this evidence and more stilling discovery will do the job absol absolutely well. Additional documents ring camera video capturing Gath Bright Chance, Andrews, and David Murphy at an airbin in Tampa roughly one mile away from the scene of Jones's murder was also discovered the Arab reservation was booked from June 22nd to June 24th under the name Rashad Murphy. It was believed that Alicia Andrews was on Instagram before the shooting looking for someone to book an airbin for them since no one did the squad booked the airbin in Rashad Murphy's name and paid for it with Gazy Cash App investigator. Again found footage from saying G. Bright's home camera was which captured the terrifying moment Gathright and Isaiah Chance loading bags investigators described as big enough to carry rifles inside the black Chevy Impala in the afternoon before the trip to Tampa, while Gathry Chance and Andrews were all arrested by JSO less than a week after.